The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Thank you for joining us today. My name is Brian Zajac from the CG School. Today we'll be going over internet marketing for architectural visualization. This webinar is a preview of what you would learn at CG School. Also keep in mind the early bird deadline for the first few classes is next week. So this will be your last opportunity to receive up to $300 off each class. For more information, please make sure to check out www.thecgschool.com. So we're going to go ahead and start our internet marketing. Okay, so internet marketing, I first have to let everybody know here that is kind of one of the things that I enjoy heavily. Um, it's something I've been doing for many years now, and um, it's been great. So to kind of get into this, we're going to be going into uh, search engine marketing and social media, which are two major components of internet marketing. Uh, I might go over a little bit more in search engine marketing than social media. It just all depends upon how this all goes. Um, and again, due to time, time constraints, we'll only be able to cover a few solutions. Um, there are many others out there like uh, email marketing and uh, being able to communicate many other ways out there that we just don't have time to cover. Um, again, if you want to be able to check and see the different things that we don't cover today, make sure to check out uh, the Internet Marketing class on the cgschool.com. So let's go ahead and start with search engine marketing. Um, we're going to go cover um, the major bullet points here, which are what makes you unique, which is the, kind of the definition of your business and what drives you different than most other businesses do. Uh, then we work on developing your keyword phrases. Uh, why do we choose Google? Uh, the instructions that Google gives us. Uh, and then optimizing the content that you've already created. And then creating online partnerships, links to and from other websites. So let's kind of dive right in and uh, get going. First of all, we have to understand what makes you unique. And I'm, what I mean by you, I mean either your business or who, what you do. Um, what you do is on the side, anything out there that could potentially, you know, make you money or make you more valuable in a company. Uh, for 3D ATS, what we did was before we kind of got started with our, our business, we developed what makes us unique. And I'm going to go over a few of these things today so that you understand where we kind of started from. So first and foremost, um, when we started, we were the only we were the only company in the world that offered 3ds Max books for architectural visualization. Um, we also uh, made specific books recently, like Esperado, which goes to a collection of artists for kind of like a coffee table book, something that is uniquely only to architectural visualization. Uh, we also do architectural visualization training, um, specifically V-Ray training, 3ds Max, AutoCAD. Uh, we would have this Onyx tree sharing site where you can share uh, Onyx trees back and forth to each other. Um, I, again, all this stuff is on the 3D ATS site. Uh, we also have mental ray training, internet marketing training, web design, and um, the, the things that draw a lot of people here are these free tutorials, whether they be V-Ray or 3ds Max. Take a look at this here. This is kind of important. You'll notice how I have two versions of V-Ray, and you're going to find that out when we do when we develop this as to, you know, why do I have two forms? Well, the one is the proper form, which is this way, but a lot of people search this way. So while you may be able to, to, to kind of, it's more professional to say it in one way, you've got to keep in mind that your marketing is wanting to see it in another way, so you've got to kind of work both systems to make things work out right. Um, we then developed other things like we have uh, modeling tutorials, uh, a lot of stuff we did on YouTube. Um, we have uh, a mar uh, one of our newest things is a marketing video we have for architectural visualization so that let's say you want to have a demo reel but you don't really have the time or money to be able to invest in creating a demo reel from the start uh, you know we're able to have kind of a, a whole system in place behind you know professional narrators to you know just having uh, some built-in kind of marketing materials that outside would cost a lot but because we were able to do it it's you know, it's more of a discount. So that's something that a lot of people really don't offer for architectural visualization, if anything. Um, what we also offer is free 
computer hardware advice for architectural visualization, the 38 TS Tech Talk that uh, Andrew Lin does. He does a great job at it, and, uh, you know, it's kind of a whole different market that's, you know, dealing with hardware. So, you know, we also do through the CG School on-site and online architectural visualization training and other, you know, different types of training, whether it be web design, internet marketing, uh, you know, just anything that's kind of out there. This is what defines 38 TS as being unique. So you have to kind of come up with a list yourself. I would suggest, if you can, uh, somewhere between maybe 20 to 30 different keyword phrases that you think that people can find you about and develop that list. That's the first and foremost thing. And I will tell you, this is one of the most important things that you can do as a business because it not only affects you in social media, internet marketing, it affects you offline. It helps your elevator speech. It helps you in so many ways possible to make it all work. So really take the time to make this right. I mean, no kidding, 15 30 minutes could change your entire way you do business for the next five years. So it's pretty serious stuff. So make sure to take a look at that. Then we go ahead and develop the keyword phrases. Now, what we do is we use the Google Keyword Tool Link. And what we do here is that we say, okay, this is what I think that people search for. So I type in those things. So, but really, what is it that people do search for? And we do it through the uh, Google AdWords system. They have uh, a keyword tool. And again, when, when, these, when this video is ready to be shown, I'll probably have some other information that you guys could be able to, you know, have a checklist of different things that I'm showing here in this uh, presentation so that you can be able to check this out on your own. Um, let's just take a look at one of our common ones, which is V-Ray or V-Ray. So as you can see here, there's a lot of searching done for V-Ray, which is great. This is a, a typical keyword, but if you look here, we have the keyword, we have the competition, how many searches are done globally, uh, local monthly searches, and the trends. Now, the trends are per month, so at some months, there are more interests, some other months, they're not. But if you notice here, in this competition, you're trying to find ways that uh, you get that if you do V-Ray training, you want to be able to find some sort of keywords here that can be able to work well for you with, that don't have much competition but have a lot of people searching for it. For example, look, your V-Ray renders, 1,900 people search for that. Same competition as V-Ray 1.5 has 74,000 people. Well, which one do you think that you would want to go for? I know I would want to go with the one that has a lot more people that want to search for things um, and that has the same level of competition because you have much you'll be able to garnish a lot more people over time than, than you would with a lesser amount and the same level of competition. So you can do this for phrases, but you can also do it if you have a website. And it will show you the different things that you're already going for and what it suggests that, you know, the competition level and what you should really be going for. For example, again, V-Ray training is one of our things. Our competition is less. We have more monthly searches. Well, look at this one, but look at the 3D rendering services. See how saturated the market, market is? That's why I'm telling you you have to use unique keyword phrases uh, that define your business outside of things like 3D renderings and animations. You just got to get outside the box a little bit more. So while I would want to be able to do V-Ray training that has more monthly searches, I would not probably want to get into 3D rendering services which have more competition and less global monthly searches. So you kind of get the idea of how you can really develop a long list of keyword phrases to start with and utilize that in search engine marketing, um, social media, email marketing, any way that you can be able to promote yourself you know, outside of your local business itself. So here's an example of what, in what we use at Google Webmaster Tools, what we use and what we've received from what we've done. Um, because of the books that we had out, a lot of the titles were uh, had architectural visualization in it. That was no mistake. We, we knew that from the start. And because of that, we've garnished a lot of inquiries because of that. Um, as you can see here, we have for 3ds Max 2009, um, when your branding goes well, your company name should be showing up, obviously, number one position. But a lot of people should be searching, and they're now searching 3D ATS just for its name. Um, so you've got to keep that in mind to always brand whatever system that you have going out there. And then kind of keep on going more and more. Uh, eventually, we're going to get into this towards the end of the search engine marketing.